Hello and welcome to Story of the Day for Year 3 to Year 6 and we're returning to George's Marvellous Medicine by Roald Dahl and we're on Chapter 2, The Marvellous Clown. George sat himself down at the table in the kitchen. He was shaking a little. Oh, how he hated Grandma. He really hated that horrible old witchy woman. And all of a sudden he had a tremendous urge to do something about her. Something whopping, something absolutely terrific. A real shocker, a sort of explosion. He wanted to blow away the witchy smell that hung around her in the next room. He may have been only eight years old, but he was a brave little boy. He was ready to take the old woman on. I'm not going to be frightened by her, he said softly to himself. But he was frightened. And that was why he wanted suddenly to explode her away. Well, not quite away, but he did want to shake the old woman up a bit. Very well then, that would be it. A whopping, terrific, explode a shocker for Grandma. He would have liked to put a firework banner under her chair, but he didn't have one. He would have liked to put a long green snake down the back of her dress, but he didn't have a long green snake. He would have liked to put six black rats in the room with her and lock the door, but he didn't have six black rats. As George sat there pondering the, this interesting problem, his eye fell upon the bottle of Grandma's brown medicine standing on the sideboard. Rotten stuff it seemed to be. Four times a day, a large spoonful of it was shoveled into her mouth and it didn't do her the slightest bit of good. She was just as horrid after as she had been before. The whole point of medicine surely was to make a person better. If it didn't do that, it was quite useless. So ho, thought jo George suddenly. Aha! Ho hum! I know exactly what I'll do. I'll make her a new medicine. One is that, that is so strong, so fierce and so fantastic. It will either cure her completely or blow off the top of her head. I'll make her a magic medicine. A medicine no doctor in the world has ever made before. George looked at the kitchen clock. It was five past ten. There was nearly an hour before Grandma's next dose. Here we go then. George said to himself, jumping from the table, a magic medicine it shall be. So give me a bug and a jumping flea, give me two snails and lizards three, a slimy squiggler from the sea and a poisonous sting of a bumblebee and the juice of the fruit from the jujube tree and the powdered bone of a wombat's knee and one hundred other things as well, each with a rather nasty smell. I'll stir them up, I'll boil them long, a mixture tough, a mixture strong, and then hey-ho, and down it goes, a nice big spoonful. Hold your nose. Just gulp it down and have no fear. How do you like it, Granny dear? Will she go pop? Will she explode? Will she go flying down the road? Will she go poof in a puff of smoke? Start fizzing like a can of coke? Who knows? Not I. Let's wait and see. I'm glad it's neither you or me. Oh, Grandma, if you only knew what I have got in store for you. And tomorrow we pick up at chapter three, George begins to make the medicine.